What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jay back with another vid. Uh, we got a we got a workout vid for y'all today, man. We uh sliding to the gym right now. Just picked up my boy Kevin. Uh, shit, we about to get this push day in, man. It's Monday. Uh, start the week off right. So chest, tries, shoulders for those that don't know what push day is. Um, but yeah, we gonna check in at the gym. Yes, sir. We at the gym right now, man. Hey, boy, Kev. Say what up, Kev. Uh, duh. Yeah, yeah, man, we about to hit this uh, uh, push day, like I said. We got our bench right here. About to get some warm up sets, and we probably gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go strength, so like five by five. Kev trying to uh, lose, so he about to probably do some high reps. But yeah, stay tuned. Got a new family, still love my old family. I know how I feel when I had no family. I wish I could bring back my dead and gone family. Ran that bag up, now I'm a whole magnet. Metal on me, don't have me around no magnets. Hey, big bag in this bitch, now where the hoes at? That's fucking. I got everything, so when I hit the mall, I don't see nothing. Wait outside that nigga mama house since he think he the toughest. I got two of the same watches, both them bitches a hundred. I got anger problems, so I can't kill you with kindness. Kill you with this chopstick or kill you with this nine, bitch. Granny used to try to have me on some get a job shit. I ain't get no job, bitch, that's nonsense. I'm robbing. Couldn't sell dope, they had to plug and they was hogging it Knew I would get rich when I was young, that was me calling it Ain't nobody help, but they all wanna be a part of it This 40 that I gotta cut your head off like Spartacus Fuck your game, make the whole set vanish Outside a op party with that tech slamming Couldn't keep suing cause that bitch kept jamming Lil' nigga, you a bitch like my ex-companion Walking anywhere and I'ma stand no shit Niggas ain't no shit besides a lot of whole shit I ain't been on bullshit, I got five full kicks Soon as you walked away, your wife went and blew a kiss That's why I don't trust shit, nigga not at all. Sniffing on her ass, I ain't nasty, I'm a dog. You ain't gon' bust shit, nigga. Knock it off. If my money were clothes, it'll shop at Big and Tall. Got a big family, but that's a cold family. New family, but I still love my old family. I know how I feel when I had no family. I wish I could bring back my dead and gone family. Run that bag up, now I'm a hoe magnet. Metal on me, don't have me around, no magnets. Run that bag up, now I'm a hoe magnet. Metal on me, don't have me around, no magnets. Who the fuck these niggas talking to? Yo, what's good, y'all? Just got back to the crib after the good workout, man. We got a nice little push day in. Uh, we went crazy in there, man. A lot of the stuff I did not get a chance to uh, actually film, unfortunately. Um, we was just in the zone, man. Sometimes you get like that to where you can't really film everything. But the uh, only thing we didn't film really was uh, abs. And loosely on push days, I usually superset everything with some uh, pull-ups and or bicep curls today we did both also did a little work with the uh also did a little work kind of hit work at the end just to burn out you feel me uh we did some tire flips and uh we burned out with the rope uh, battle ropes so definitely a great workout man uh, i'll try to get the whole thing filmed for y'all next time it's just yeah sometimes you get too caught up into it but quickly i just wanted to talk about why i train the way i do so a lot of people when they train they just try to get the heaviest weight possible and they don't really focus on the contraction or the form when they lift to me it's form over everything if you're not doing it right ain't no reason you should be doing it honestly and when i say form i mean perfect form like try to really get a mind muscle connection watch some videos on how to do something if you don't really know the perfect form watch a video on how to get better man it's all about improving yourself and constantly seeking the best man you can't be yes you're getting the work done but don't you want the results much faster like your results will come so much quicker if you actually took the time to work out uh, correctly um so yeah man um that's why i just wanted to say about that really just take your time if you didn't know like the eccentric um, portion of the exercises where you gain the most weight. So, like, if you're doing a bicep curl, when you're actually I'm trying to this, uh, if you're doing a bicep curl, you're going to make the most gains if you slow down that eccentric, then pop back up. And also, a good thing is to, like, twist inside, and that just comes with learning the form. You see how that moves up? If you're just going up like this, once you get that twist, it contracts a lot harder. So, really go slow in the eccentric portion and then pop up that's a good tip for any workout uh, also progressive overload guys progressive overload you have to have to have to have to be doing progressive overload if you actually want to make some gains now for those of you that don't know what progressive overload is or what it means 
it's essentially overloading your muscles you're going to failure and then overloading your muscles with something else so a couple different forms of progressive overload could be a rest pause set to where say you go to failure you do 10 reps and you fail on 10 on bench press or whatever then you rest 15 seconds or a shorter rest period and then you knock out as many more as you can to go to failure again that's just going to overload the muscles and really get you a good pump and really get you uh pumped up so uh if you can try to do that with a lot of different things man just get creative just push yourself like on one i had did the skull crushers failed got up for the lower weight above the head skull crushers and then i finished it off with a plate push for 20 reps that's just really progressive overloading those triceps but also hitting the chest which we had hit earlier in the workout to just overload that and just really get a good pump um, a lot of times i implement a drop set as well so a drop set say you're doing um just like what i said just with the uh, skull crusher so you do 20 skull crushers with a certain weight and then you drop 50% of the weight, usually, um, or just whatever feels good, then knock out 10 more. So like you do, or really what I like to do is, uh, man, I keep switching it up, but shit. What I like to do is uh, drop the weight each, each set. I mean, increase the weight, but drop the reps each set, and then the last set, do a drop set. So for example, I would do, um, for example, I would do incline press, right? So I would start, the first set I would do 15 with a lighter weight, probably like the uh, 60s or something like that. And then I would do, drop that, drop the reps, I'll do 12, 12 reps the next set with a higher weight. So then I'll do like 65 or 70 for 12. And then the last set, I'll go highest weight I can do in hopes of failing though you want to fail man i'm trying to tell you all progressive overload is really the key you want to be failing on these sets um so then that last set i'll go up to the 80s pump the 80s you feel me try to get 10 probably fail at like 9 10 and then drop all the way down to like the 45s or the 50s or the 40s and then really go slow on that drop set and really feel the contraction and i'm trying to tell you bro that's gonna get you all the gains. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. That's gonna really, really step up your results a lot faster because you're just tearing that muscle. And especially when you lose it, when you get to that higher weight, you're still trying to control the weight, but it's still gonna be a little bit faster. So then on that drop set, when you get to the last 10, when you drop, you really wanna go real nice and slow. So then that's really gonna tear it. So that's gonna you're doing that way you just go nice and slow it should be light enough weight to where you're controlling it it should feel light but you just pumping so much blood and oxygen to that muscle so it can grow because that's what that's what you're trying to do here man you're trying to get as maximum stretch as you can and also maximum contra contraction and really block in that mind muscle connection when you're doing the lift you should know what body parts you're exercising you shouldn't just be just going crazy and not really controlling the weight um, but yeah, man, I don't want to make this too long. That's pretty much all the tips I got for how to, just for that push that, man. I'm uh, coming, definitely going to be dropping more workout videos soon. But that's just the tips I have for that after that. So, man, I hope y'all getting after it today. Hope y'all training. Hope y'all getting after y'all goals, getting on your purpose. And uh, being out releasing. <laughs> but yeah, I hope y'all like this video, man. Y'all like, comment, share, subscribe with anybody who you think can uh, take some Take, take some value from this type of content, man. Also, comment below what y'all want to see in future videos, and I'll be sure to get on it. Other than that, y'all have a blessed day, man. Peace. People look at you strange saying you changed, like you worked that hard to stay the same. Like, you're doing all this for a reason. And what happens most of the time, people change. People change around you because they start treating you different because of your success.